Did you say the bars are avoidable? The police didn't do anything wrong in rivers. We acted professionally. We followed the rule of law. You will recall that there have been political crises in rivers that led to the ceiling of the 23 local governments in the state. There was violence. Even in that violence, we lost a policeman. Subsequently, the 23 local governments were taken over and sealed. And we were waiting for pronouncement of the court on the political issues in the river. And the election. We are going to handle Ondo in the same way, and we are even going to improve on our handling of Ondo election. Um, there have been series of insinuations in the social media about what we are doing in Falomo Barracks, with Falomo Barracks and other barracks in Nigeria. If you go to any barrack in Lagos, police barrack in Lagos, take a tour and see how those structures look like. The poli police barracks, the buildings are already collapsing. These are barracks that were built over 50 years ago with no strategic framework for maintenance, with zero maintenance of the barracks. They have started falling into a state of disrepair. Some of them are already collapsing. We cannot fold our arms and wait for tra tragedy. So we have the, the, the redesigning and the reconstruction programs we are doing for the barracks is part of the larger initiative to provide safe, modern, and dignified accommodation for our officers. We have to intervene. This initiative didn't start with me. It started in the last administration. It is something that we just have to do. The barracks in Lagos are collapsing. The Lagos state government has a law that once they have arrested within a short time, and imagine how we are going to cope with this large number of suspects being arrested. I wanted to know what is encouraging the youth into crime. You see, in crime management, there are two approaches to managing crime all over the world. There is the kinetic approach, and there is the non-kinetic approach. The kinetic approach rests with us, the security services. The non-kinetic approach is being led by the government. Government is doing so much to ensure that we, our economy improves. Is this, government is doing so much to take the youths out of the streets, provide employment for them, review our, the curriculum of our education. We should have thinking curriculum. Curriculum that will produce graduates that will be able to be self-employed. All these ones are the ones that the government is doing. So while we go ahead with our kinetic approach, the non-kinetic approach is also going on. Hopefully, we are going to come out of our present challenges. We have so many challenges, economic challenges, security challenges, environmental challenges, and all of that. <clears throat> So all these challenges, we have to tackle them simultaneously. Then Solomon from Conch. 
Okay, you wanted to know what has happened to the suspects in the last protest that were declared wanted. Some of them have been arrested, some are, some are still being wanted. Those that have been arrested have been charged. Then those as, that are still at large, we are still going after them. We will eventually get them. Nigeria Police Force. Today, we convey to collaboratively review our performance and the significant national events since our last meeting in July. Our agenda is to pinpoint upcoming challenges and craft empirically based solutions, particularly focusing on the uh, on those stage of season election and various local government elections across the country. I want to begin by expressing my deep appreciation for your unwavering dedication to maintaining law and order throughout our nation. I fully recognize the complex and demanding security environment in which you operate, as well as the daily challenges you encounter in fulfilling your duties. I acknowledge the rigorous work schedules and the risk you face to address these challenges, often compounded by a notable lack of resources. Only to reflect on our recent accomplishments, but also to decisively plan our next steps as we continue our efforts to combat crime and criminality across Nigeria. It is imperative that we remain proactive and visionary. Our role in the country's internal security framework is vital. We must lead by example. With the upcoming off circle gubernatorial election in Ondo State, the local government council elections nationwide, and the challenges of the current Ember months, our vigilance and commitment to enhance security are paramount. Together, let's strive to foster a safe and secure environment for all Nigerians, thereby reinforcing the trust that is fundamental to our effectiveness. We must build on the progress we have made in addressing security concerns across our nation. Over the past few months, the force has significantly enhanced the safety and security of the country. Our tactical operations, intelligence-led policing, and community engagement strategies have yielded impressive results. Recent statistics indicate a substantial decrease in crime rates in key areas, including significant strides in combating violent crimes such as banditry, kidnapping, armed robbery, and cybercrime. From July to October this year, the Nigeria Police Force successfully rescued 369 kidnapped victims recovered 416 firearms of various makes, retrieved 178 vehicles, and seized 3,672 rounds of ammunition of different calibers. Additionally, a total of 10,852 suspects were arrested across the country. On 1st of October 2024, the anti kidnapping unit of the FCT Police Command, acting on credible intelligence, apprehended four notorious kidnappers who had been terrorizing the FCT. The individuals arrested were Yao Sonny, aka Baba, an ex convict, Nubu, Nubu, aka Giwa, Kabiru Mohammed, and Yusuf Hassan. They were captured at their criminal hideouts in Saoka, Abuja. The items recovered from them during this operation included four AK-47 rifles, 13 AK-47 magazines, and 162 rounds of 7.62 mm live ammunition. The suspects confessed during the interrogation to multiple kidnapping within the FCT and surrounding states. Their arrest was timely in thwarting another kidnapping operation which was targeted at 
the abduction of university students. These suspects are currently assisting with investigations and will be prosecuted in accordance with the law. Data State Command. On September 2nd, 2024, police operatives attached to the Ebumede Division, acting on credible intelligence, trailed a suspicious vehicle to DSC roundabout in Wari. Upon noticing the police presence, the occupants open fired and subsequently fled into the crowd, abandoning their vehicle. A subsequent search of the vehicle led to the recovery of four AK-47 rifles. Efforts are currently underway to apprehend the fleeing suspects. Niger State Command. On August 4, 2024, members of the anti-kidnapping unit from the State Criminal Investigations Department in Mina, Niger State, intercepted a Toyota Corolla carrying three male occupants. Upon the arrival of the police, the individuals immediately fled, abandoning their vehicle. A thorough search revealed 15 automatic pump action rifles and 30 cartridges hidden within a sack in the vehicle. Intensive efforts have been made to identify and locate the owner of the vehicle. Kaduna State Command. On September 19, 2024, Officers from the Buruku Division intercepted a black Gulf 3 saloon vehicle during a routine patrol at Buruku Bridge. A search of the vehicle revealed 20 locally fabricated AK-47 rifles and an empty Type 06 magazine hidden in the boot. The driver, identified as Petrus Gian from Panic in Black in Plateau State, confessed during interrogation to be a gun runner, supplying arms and ammunition to bandits. He is currently cooperating with the police and efforts are being made to locate the manufacturers of these recovered arms. Similarly, on September 2, 2024, following credible intelligence about suspicious bandit activities in Kaduna, police operating set an ambush at a local motor park. A search during the operation led to the recovery of four locally fabricated AK-47 rifles hidden within a consignment. The next morning, six suspects were arrested in connection with the delivery. Those apprehended were Lawal Muritala, Isa Kabiru, Awad Suraju, Kamala Lawal, Umar Adamu, and Kabiru Lima. Items recovered from the suspects include four fabricated AK-47 rifles, two English pistols, two pump-action guns, 24 cartridges, 29 rounds of light ammunition of various calibers, a large assortment of charms, one walkie-talkie, one axe, one cash totaling 908,600 naira. State Command. Between July 2024 and August 22, 2024, the Enugu State Police Command made substantial progress in curbing crime, resulting in the arrest of 123 suspects and the rescue of 19 kidnapped. As a reminder that our mission to ensure the safety of Nigerians is ongoing and paramount. We must continue to evolve, adapt, and strengthen our strategies to uphold our commitment to public safety. Edo Election Security Management. I seize this opportunity to extend my commendation to the officers and personnel deployed to the recent Edo State Governorship election, as well as to members of other security agencies who participated in the election security management. Your exemplary conduct contributed to a peaceful election, exemplifying professionalism and best practices in election security. Despite assessments predicting high levels of violence, your efforts neutralize threats ahead of the election, ensuring a peaceful process. This achievement underscores our capacity to secure electoral processes effectively. We are grateful for the commendations received from the general public, election observers, both foreign and domestic, and civil society groups. Special appreciation is due to the personnel from other security agencies who joined us in providing security during this election, including 
the Department of State Services, the NSCDC, the Nigerian Immigration Service, the Nigerian Customs Service, the Federal Road Safety Commission, and the Nigerian Correctional Service. Your discipline, neutrality, and unwavering commitment to law and order, public safety, and the protection of democratic processes are truly commendable. Preparations for the forthcoming Ondo governorship election. As we prepare for the upcoming Ondo state of cycle gubernatorial election, I urge all involved to replicate and build upon the successes recorded in the Ondo state election. We must ensure a robust security architecture and that officers perform their duties with impartiality and the highest professionalism. Our mission is to provide a secure environment where voters can freely exercise their democratic rights without fear or intimidation. We will continue to collaborate with other security agencies, the Independent National Electoral Commission, and stakeholders to ensure that the state election is conducted freely, fairly, and credibly, empowering all voters to, ex to exercise their rights without any fear of intimidation. Conference and retreat for senior police officers. In our ongoing commitment to enhancing our professionalism through continual learning, I am pleased to announce the upcoming senior police officers conference and retreat scheduled to take place in Adelbuta, Open State from November 25th to 28th, 2024. This event will provide a vital platform for deep reflection, knowledge sharing, and strategic planning. Aim at senior officers of the rank of commissioners of police and above, as well as other strategic police managers, the retreat will enable us to evaluate our strengths, pinpoint areas for improvement, and realign our goals with the evolving needs of the Nigerian populace. This gathering will be pivotal in preparing us for the challenges of 2025 and beyond, reinforcing our commitment to the modernization and ongoing reform of the Nigerian police force. Within the approach of the environment, with the, as we continue with the environment, a time traditionally associated with heightened security challenges, the imperative for vigilance, enhanced feasibility, and proactive policing becomes even more critical. Criminal elements frequently exploit this season necessitating our strategic foresight to stay ahead. Our approach should include increased patrols, intelligence-driven and community-oriented op operations 